Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome to my entry in the great guitar build-off of 2021. It's uh, the first time I've done this, so uh, I've got my Sumatra, I've got the guitar, and here we go. For me, this isn't so much a contest as it is a way to share guitar building ideas and, uh, uh, you know, we can all get a little something from each other. I've encountered some challenges along the way that required some interesting jigs I had to build, and I think that maybe you might want to see them. It might help you in your build, and if you can think of a better way of doing them than I'm doing them, then please let me know, because it's great to share the information and we all get something out of it. Well, first of all, <clears throat> this guitar shouldn't exist. Um, it was just uh, going to be a quick prototype that I would build to uh, test out some of my ideas like the body shape, where the pickups were located, what kind of pickups, um, but mainly the uh, the uh, tremolo system, the uh, well, actually, it's a vibrato system. Well, let's just call it a whammy bar. Uh, this particular design was uh, designed by Brian May and his dad on the uh, the Red Special, the the guitar that uh, you hear on every Queen song, except for crazy little thing called Love. Uh, it's a unique. Uh, <clears throat> it's a one of a kind system. I've never seen anything like it before and I thought I'd give it a try so yeah I came up with a way of mounting this Brian May mounted it from the top so there was a cover plate there I wanted to try to mount it from the back so I had to come up with a system to do that a way of doing it that would uh, actually work and I didn't know if my idea was going to work out so um, so the tremolo system the pickups their location the body shape I wanted to make sure that the uh, the contours were comfortable. The guitar had to uh, make you want to pick it up and play it. I mean, I really wanted a, a very playable guitar. I wanted the volume knob where I could reach it. And, and, and the toggle switch right here. Kind of like on a Les Paul. So I wanted to work all these things out before I actually uh, built the real guitar. So this was just going to be a way of working out some ideas before I built a, a guitar that's going to be made out of limba. And it's going to be a neck through design. It's going to have a carved top, kind of like a Les Paul. I didn't want to do all that and go through all that trouble to find that uh, I didn't like the body shape. Uh, I didn't like the Brian May tremolo system. Um, and the pickups were in all the wrong places. So I needed something that would be kind of like a, a throwaway. Um, the intent was, I thought, well, you know, I'll just, I'll just take the neck off my Telecaster, uh, get some cheap tone wood and uh, uh, build a body around that neck and just try the outline, try the pickups. So I was gonna do a kind of like a swimming pool route so I could try everything. Uh, try the Brian May Tremolo and something that I could just throw away. So, um, I realized that I didn't need three pickups, so I was going to use two, and I didn't, so I didn't need a swing, swimming pool route, so I, uh, I made two large cavities so that I could try different pickups in different places, Strat pickups, uh, Tele pickup if I wanted to. Uh. So as you see, this guitar is pretty far along. This video is going to go back and start to the very start of the build when I you know, got the wood and, and uh, started building it. And it's going to, there are going to be a few videos. And this first one only gets to the place where I decide I'm going to actually go ahead with the build and not throw away the body. So currently, the state that this is at, it's quite a ways along. But, um, and I've got about three coats of sanding sealer on it. And then two coats of clear lacquer. Uh, I use the Preval system, which um, we'll go over later. I'm not a fan. So yesterday, my compressor arrived. <laughs> yes, 
indeed. And, um, and a rather inexpensive spray gun. So um, we'll see what that, what that does. By the way, the name of this guitar is The Prototype. I know, very original. <laughs> yeah, because it's just a prototype for the real guitar I'm going to build. Um, the scratch build, the neck through build. So I ended up um, taking the Telecaster neck off the Telecaster and uh, I located a, an inexpensive piece of uh, roasted basswood from American Specialty Hardwoods. Yeah, so I had a, a big, uh, big billet of, uh, of roasted basswood and um, proceeded to build. Uh, in order to to make the neck pocket, I I created a jig, kind of a, a template that not only would would allow me to make the neck pocket, but um, but it it had a guide for uh, for drilling the the stud pieces for the bridge, the uh, you know the mounting ferrules for the uh, uh, it's a shaler. Uh, it's Shaler Bridge with the with the, uh, the the bearings, the the little bearing wheels, and uh, so I, I needed to make sure that that the um, that the post would raise and lower relative to the string angle, not perpendicular to the body. So I made the jig so that it would actually uh, the drill would be forced to go in the direction I wanted it to. So that really worked out. The, the, the neck fit the neck pocket just fine. You know, the bridge went into place. Um, in the area that I was going to route out for the, uh, the Brian May um, tremolo block, I just nailed some, uh, I just put six nails in there. Then I, I hooked the, the ball into the strings onto those nails threaded it over the bridge and, and um, basically uh, brought the guitar up to pitch and uh, made sure that the intonation was right. So I knew that the bridge was in the right location. Uh, it worked really well. Um, the problem was is that it was, I had miscalculated a little bit. The, um, <laughs> the, uh, the bridge was a little bit high. I think it was probably an eighth of an inch higher than I would have wanted it to be. Uh, I like the bri a bridge very, very close to the body. Just it's it's more comfortable for me to play. So what I did is <laughs> I took the neck off. <clears throat> I realized that if I flip the body around and route it, I could I could I could angle this jig a little bit different and um, route the. Uh, Route the neck pocket and the and the bridge uh, from from the other end. That way, I could uh, I could fit it. The problem was is that those six uh, nail holes now fell where this guitar. It, you don't, you can't see them now because I did a pretty good job at disguising them. But there's the six holes are right about here. So um, yeah, that was my second attempt, and it it worked great. And now that's the angle you've got. Pretty nice, exactly where I want it. I mean, there's just a little play that I can adjust the uh, action way too low if I want it to. But uh, so it's it's a little bit up from there. Um, so yeah, that worked great. The next thing to do was to uh, to cut out the body. You know, basically a rough cut of uh, on the bandsaw and. Uh, just to just to get the basic shape. Um, throughout this whole process, I'm putting the gu guitar completely together. Every time a major step happens, it, it, I would just put the gu guitar together, see if I still like it. Did I do anything wrong? Did I screw up? Do I have to go all the way back to square one? Um, so, well, the good news is, uh, just about every step, just about, <laughs> uh, turned out really well, and um, I ended up. Uh, uh, not having to do too much craziness. So now that I know the uh, the neck and the the bridge are in the right place and all that's going to be good, 
it was time to tackle the Brian May tremolo system. <laughs> and, uh, I had some I had some good ideas and I kept sketching and kept sketching um, and came up with with something that looked like it would work. I routed into the back. Uh, I made a I made a block for there's a, a there's a knife edge piece on there that screws to a block. And then that block then screws into the into the guitar. I made that block out of Castello boxwood uh, because it seemed very um, a very hard wood and I wanted something that was really a good anchor. Yeah, so this is the is the tremolo system from the back. Um, that way the top is is clear and all you see is the uh, uh, the important bits coming through. Um, initially I didn't know if I would like the, the tremolo it turned out I really like it. It it's got it's got two things it, it doesn't do, but I, I can discuss that later. Maybe maybe even a, a different video. But it's got a dive and action very much like a strat. I didn't want that kind of spongy feel of a Bigsby, and that was one of the main things I was worried about. This does not do the spongy Bigsby thing, which, which isn't bad. A lot of people like it. It's it's I'm more of a strat cat. Um, and so this feels a lot like a strat. A little bit different though. Um, it seems like if I break a string, uh, the, the guitar doesn't go out of tune as much on the, with this system. When I put the guitar back together after doing that, after, uh, after making this, it, it, it worked really well. In the process of, uh, of routing out the body outline, I, I laid the, the template down on on it and on my uh, table router proceeded to to route out the outline just like everyone does. Um, I found out later that it was because I was running the the RPM on the router a little too slow and uh, and a big ugly chunk was taken out that I had to uh, ended up having to repair but hey this is just a prototype so no big deal I've experimented with it since and found that it, at, a, at a considerably higher speed it that does not happen so tip for for people and uh, if anyone wants to leave any uh, suggestions in the comment about router bit speed and yeah I'm all ears, and it would it would help others who who want to who want an answer to the the same question. So now that um, I, I after putting the guitar together, I thought, well, I need to put the I need to wire it up and put some pickups in it and see what it sounds like. You know, put it again. You know, I put the thing back together every as often as I can to see how I like it. So I I put a a humbucking a humbucking pickup in the rear position and a Stratocaster pickup in the neck position and uh, I attach it I attach them with velcro <laughs> yes yeah I attached them with, with velcro which kind of kind of worked <laughs> um, kind of uh, and then I wired the guitar up and uh, and I tried different <clears throat> I tried the Strat with different pos positions and the the, uh, the humbucker um, it turns out that I like it exactly because there is a, a ratio between where your pickup is and the bridge and the nut that I ended up calculating to me that where, where a humbucker pickup sits is vital. Um, so there's a ratio there. Um, it's one thing on a Les Paul. Paul Reed Smith has has it in a place that's a little different than to me. A, a Les Paul is where. I'm used to a humbucker sitting. So after putting the guitar together uh, with the pickups and the Brian May tremolo and uh, using a Telecaster neck and uh, considering the body shape and, and some of the contouring I had done, it turned out I really liked this guitar. And it deserved to come alive and not just 
become firewood. <laughs> to be taken apart just because I've figured out uh, how I want to do things um, for my real guitar. So I thought, well, but I do need a Telecaster. Because I do play my Telecaster. Uh, quite a lot, actually. Uh, so I took the Telecaster neck off and um, uh, went to Warmoth and found that they have this thing called uh, a tilt-back uh, paddle head. Tilt-back paddle head guitar neck. And uh, so I ordered one in roasted maple. I got the uh, I got the neck back and uh, proceeded to do uh, uh, my head headstock design. I mean, do I like my headstock design? Is it going to work? Well, it, yes. It, it you know, not to give away too much, but it works really well. Um, so this first video, I I will be covering uh, everything up to when I decided to go that this guitar was going to live. And after that will be the next video where I, I get into all the things I did with the neck. And uh, eventually there will be a video that takes the guitar from where it is now, where I put a sunburst on it. Uh, and uh, I still have yet to design the... There's really no room for a, for a truss rod cover and a logo, so I've decided I'm going to make it a large truss rod cover so I could put a logo in there. There you go. Thank you very much. I have been getting a lot out of watching the uh, builds of my fellow contestants. Thank you to you, Benjamin Crow, uh, for all the great information you give all of us and the inspiration. Think of all the people who are making guitars now because of you. Um, also, the guys at Texas Toast, uh, they have room to boast even though they're not in Texas. Also, uh, Freddie Fretz. Um, uh, I've gotten a lot out of his videos. I mean, he knows how to build a Les Paul. Yeah, and uh, some of the, the tips I've got from him on finishing. Um, lacquer uh, have been very helpful. Uh, so, I'll conclude this video now. I will see you in the near future at a time subsequent to now.